really a great opportunity for career development, personal growth, um, networking, making a lot of connections. I think you have to be part of the IES if you really want to know what's going on with lighting. It's, uh, it's got an immense amount of talent and you can learn things that I just don't think you can do it on your own. Well, if you want to be a, a lighting geek and get involved in the, in the lighting world, you have to be part of the IES. We are the lighting authority and we actually produce all the standards and, and all the recommendations for lighting practice. Meeting the heart of the industry so if you get opportunities to do things that you would never get to do, you can see the scope of what everybody is considering. And you can participate or not participate. You can, have, you can have your input or you can make a contribution. You can do something which I found invigorating. It's an incredible organization where you can get involved and really make an impact in the lighting community and meet the people who are making an impact. And not many other industries, I feel like, have this connection where I mean, the lighting is small, but where you can meet the head powers of it. Um, and with IES, you yourself can become one of those people. Being my first annual conference, I am floored. It is one of the best experiences I've ever had. I got to have a chat with Howard Branston with all the experience and being able to hear the stories about lighting the Statue of Liberty and having the Disney team come to him was mind-boggling. Um, and just, yeah, amazing. I always say whenever I talk to people about the IES that it's the authority on the lit environment and guidelines. So um, a lot of times you'll really see um, really what the, the thought is about lighting for certain reasons. Or So it's, it's really a source of information and then you get to be close to all the people around that. And then you have the opportunity to also commit to being in a committee and influence. So there's a, many good reasons. I think the information received from the IES from its members is, is critical to what I do. The free exchange of information is wonderful. And it doesn't happen that often in life. What you bring back to our company by the knowledge you learn, the connectedness you find from getting hooked up with all kinds of other people, and then the ideas you know about before anybody before anybody in our competition knows about it because you've been at the conferences, you've been involved in the meetings, you've been involved in some of those committees, is he says there's no way we can put a dollar amount on that because you bring that knowledge back and you distribute it to the rest of the employees and we become a better company. I think there are you know, a lot of skills that I acquired. Um, leadership skills, I think you learn a lot by working with different people. Um, technical skills, um, you learn a lot about different areas that you might not be involved in. And um, I think there's just a lot of opportunities. <laughs> yeah. If somebody is interested in lighting and is interested in expanding their knowledge, IES is certainly the one resource that I would recommend they go to first because it is a community of lighting designers who are trying to help each other out but also help expand the, the industry and improve upon what has already been done which is fantastic work and the more people we have the better. IES helped me tremendously. Um, uh, almost all my research, all my uh, present, uh, all my research um, are, are published by the IES. Uh, I learned a lot from the people that I talk to within the IES and I get a tremendous amount of help and connection with IES. So I feel like uh, the IES gives you that educational opportunity. It also gives you the opportunity to sort of expand your sort of scope uh, of expertise. Uh, you know, event planning is, is something that, you know, is applicable to a set of skills that you build. Uh, that has application to a wide variety of other things that you do on a daily basis for work. There's um, different tiers of involvement. So even if you only have a little bit of time, uh, they still encourage uh, they still encourage you every way they can. They help you every way they can. So as little or as much as you want to be involved, you can you can accomplish that. Being an IES member brings a lot of value. Uh, number one, bringing us together, uh, um, having an access to education. Uh, being able to, uh, to understand the latest trends, uh, and then really connecting with your other uh, folks within the community. 
uh, it's a great way to do that. And there's only so much emails and phone calls can do. IES does, uh, there are designer members, but there are also manufacturer members, sales members, um, and researchers. And I think that's where the IES is a little different than other organizations in that it's combining a lot of the science and a lot of the art. Um, and you get to interact with a lot of different people. It's not siloed into really specific one section of the lighting industry. It's not only technology, everybody's talking LEDs, everybody's talking controls, uh, but it's also uh, uh, how it affects human physiological response. And the science is, is evolving every day. And to get into lighting just to screw in a light bulb, you're, you're hurting everybody. You have to understand how light affects people. And the IES is the central body of knowledge of the gathering place of this knowledge, shall I say. It has been an opportunity to expose this group to the emergent biomedical literature that shows us that light has potent effects on human physiology and behavior. Well, it's the source of, of knowledge about lighting, but also it's a community. So with the, the sections all across the, the country, well, all across Canada, where I'm from as well, um, it's a great way to get to know people who have your, sh your shared interests. And that's actually, to me, the most valuable piece, is those local connections. I'm a salesman promoting products, uh, and the resources that are available from the IES are invaluable to helping me do my job. Uh, I think that there are two reasons. Number one is that um, it's a small industry of intelligent and friendly people, and you should get to know them. And the other thing is that um, the 40 plus uh, committees that exist in the IES, whatever interest you have, there's a place where you can go to work with like-minded people and, and to learn, really, to learn so much more than you thought was possible about the thing that you're interested in. I make connections every year that I come. Um, and I've basically secured two different positions um, just from the connections I make from the IES. I actually believe that it's community. So for myself, I, our friends, our personal friends are from the IES and they're from all over the world. And uh, we've managed to um, keep those friendships uh, during this particular conference, but outside of the conference as well. So when we need a hand from someone, uh, such as uh, such as other lighting designers, um, they're perfectly willing to help us, and and I think that that's that relationship all has come from our mentoring uh, in IES. It's just a great great organization to belong to. You grow a lot personally, um, and you can grow a lot in your career, and you meet a lot of great people. And networking is a big a, a big part of it. So manufacturers, specifiers, um, represent, sales representatives, and all. All of those folks are part of the uh, membership of the society, so you get to interact with a lot of the folks that are involved uh, in lighting design. Um, and it is really the authority for information on uh, lighting recommendations and lighting standards, uh, and a, a real significant focus on those as well as on education. The, the education piece is, is very important, but the social elements that, uh, that the IES sections provide for their membership are, are uh, exemplary for, uh, for all industry associations. Uh, certainly uh, there are a lot of new, new people coming into the industry and the Emerging Professionals Program is, is such, a, uh, such a huge platform to, uh, to engage those individuals and bring them into our community uh, and help them develop their, uh, their, their uh, knowledge base and their careers. I would say it's definitely a good opportunity. You get to learn, you get to meet a lot of people, network, and um, it's definitely a good opportunity for your growth, especially as you're growing for, uh, for your lighting professional career. I've learned a lot. Uh, initially, when I started off, uh, the program was very helpful in trying to navigate how the IES works, and, and it put me in touch with a lot of experienced professionals who could like guide me career-wise. It's very good for networking and finding mentors to help you um, as a young student and a young professional um, moving up in the career and uh, understanding like how to work with your clients as for architects and landscape architects um, and really getting to know the profession as a whole. I think the, the friendships of course that I've that I've had and uh, gained along the way and um, uh, just the the knowledge really um, having access to 
um, the technical knowledge, I mean, like I said, that's really invaluable to, to my career. The exposure to so many different areas of the business. I mean, I work for a manufacturer, but that means I don't necessarily know all the details of the distribution side or the agent side or the design side. Learning about that through this is fantastic. What a, um, a great group of people it is and what an amazing um, asset it is to your career. Um, I have formed more professional connections and probably gotten more jobs because of my IES um, involvement than anything else. Many uh, folks that are in here, although just a member recently, I've been involved or coming to events for many, many years, and the folks are all uh, fantastic, fun, exciting, various. You get to see what lighting touches in everyday life. I think uh, at the gala last night with the awards banquet, it was so versatile on those applications. And then where all the projects are from. So it's a chance to see the world, like the world. I think I guess not just to my business, adds a standards and practices, and obviously that's part of the, the, the mantra, but to have a, a, a recognized body for over 100 years, cultivating the, 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 the community and the population, and also informing the people not just inside but outside the industry, I find to be very invaluable. The IES is, for me, it's uh, peer review, it's education, it's networking, and it's inspiration. There's so much that goes into our industry, and I have had the opportunity to have many different roles in my career, and it's all because of the IES. Meeting different people, uh, getting different perspectives, realizing how expansive lighting is, and you know, I think they were saying earlier in the meeting, uh, it's not just light bulbs anymore. So I think that that's the biggest thing, to have this access to the people and the technologies that are uh, growing and growing to become you know, what the lighting industry is today. It's important to stay ahead of of the curve. Uh, in my position, uh, I do a lot of education and training, so it's important for me to be up to date on, on the latest technology, and I think the IES brings that to, uh, to the forefront very well and very effectively. What the IES gives you is something that is uh, a maintained uh, relationship with people that is completely independent of how you're switching jobs. So um, although every time we change employers, we end up with different colleagues, with the IES, there's the same colleagues. And what happens is you have a, a consistency in your career, which allows you to continue to grow and continue to network and find the next opportunities. So that's what the IES gives you. If you're interested in expanding your understanding and knowledge of lighting in a broad way across the board, but also if you want the resources to, to address your specific needs, then there really is only one place to go, and that is something like the IES. Uh, that's why it's such a valuable organization. It's a lot of people here, a lot of backgrounds, industrial lighting design, manufacturer, he, there is a lot of communication, new people from all the countries, not from the U.S. only. It's such a great community. You know, you can get connected with the university, the manufacturer, the lighting designers in the U.S. It's such a great thing. Just getting involved with all the people all around the country, yeah. seeing what's going on, different programs, you know, just learning what's, what's new, what's, what's trending, what's happening, what's changing. Those are the things that keep me, keep me going what I do, keep, keep my information that I teach to my students up to date, current, make it fresh. You know, I joined the IES when I was younger, and those friends and those colleagues are still with me now. So, you know, you, you really have to have a support group as an emerging professionals, and the IES is your support. It's helped me network. I work for a manufacturer. I work for Cree Lighting. So wherever I've been, I've always had, you know, people I could call and talk to and reference in every city in the country. So it's given me a, uh, a database or a Rolodex like no one, no one on earth could have. It's the people. It's the people that you collaborate with and you make friends and colleagues for life in the IES. You work together and you know, after 40 years, if I need a piece of information, whether it's on some research, whether it's on a product, whether it's on some dimming scheme, whether it's a flicker issue, whether it's a design issue, I have a Rolodex or I have the IES membership directory and I know exactly who to call for the answer. That's the most important part.
I would highly recommend it. It just definitely opens up your um, definitely opens up a different aspect of a career and it's very just helpful to know the people involved. It's a great resource and organization for lighting to stay uh, abreast on all the new technologies uh, that's coming down the pipeline. My favorite part of being a member of the IES is the sense of community and the overall enjoyment and just being around everyone here, love and light, talking about it. The people you meet, the networking you do, it improves yourself as a person. It gives you the opportunity to grow and I think that helps your career in immeasurable ways. The society is really uh, nurturing um, that you know if you ever have any questions or there's something really specific that you're interested in that they are encouraging of that um, that there's always opportunities uh, if you don't even necessarily have funds there's always scholarships there's always you know ways to get involved you, know, you start locally and then it starts to expand to a region and an ultimately national uh, sort of network of professionals that you consider friends and you know it's uh, you know one of the things I love about the EIS national conference is it feels like a, a homecoming in, in some respects so. So my selling point is really if you want to be a part of the lighting design world if you want to expand your knowledge or expand your community IES is the, the number one resource. It's the, it's the clearinghouse, the centerpiece um, the go-to location if you really are going to look for one place to find the information that you want. It's really the central meeting place for knowledge and information on the lighting world. If you're in the lighting business, how can you not be a member of the IES? Again, it's if you're if you're interested in networking, where are you going to go to find you know 700 people that are only involved in lighting? Uh, if you're involved in research, where are you going to go to hear Dr. Brainerd or Jennifer Veach or uh, Mariana? Where, where else are you going to go? If you're involved in applications, where else are you going to go listen to a group of consulting engineers and lighting designers talk about shared problems? So I think. Um, I, I think the IES kind of sells itself, although we probably have to go to take this message out. And maybe that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> so.